Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph. Hi. And today I'm super excited because I picked up this palette here, which is the collaboration between Beauty Bay and the beautiful Nikki Tutorials. So very exciting one. Um, I have recently tried the Beauty Bay 16 Colour Brights palette, which I loved. So I have extremely high hopes for this one. So what you get, this is the outer packaging, the box it comes in. It's uh, black with like glittery and it's got a, uh, a slight grainy texture to it. Um, this keyhole here, which is much like the keyhole look into Nikki's life, like the light side and dark side. Um, so yeah, that's the box it comes in. Um, it did come with this little slip here um, where Nikki shows how best to apply each shade. So it's either got a brush um, or a finger and a brush. So however's best to apply it. Um, obviously you do what you do. So there is that. And the actual palette, the palette itself, looks like this so you have the light side and the dark side now the light oh let's take the shiny slip out we'll get rid of her so on the light side you have these colors here and then this one when you open it is the dark side so these are the colours, um, I'm going to swatch them for you so that you can see. So I'm going to swatch from this side to this side and then go down the rows like this, um, letting you know what colours they are. Oh, and also these mirrors, you have your regular mirror here, but then this mirror is a magnifying mirror, which is brilliant for those who wear glasses and struggle. So let's get into the swatches. The first colour is called Redemption and she looks like this. A little bit powdery. That's a really pretty orange. Let's give her a little bit more. Oh, I like that colour. So that's Redemption. And then we have Blend and Snap, which is this lovely pink here. And then the next shade we have is the first of the shimmers, and that is called Ivy. I've got hair on my finger, let's get rid of that. And she looks like this. So let's swatch her here. The next shade we have is called Slasher, and this is ooh, what she looks like. She's a uh, quite a pigmented girl. And next is 5am, which is like a, a matte brown there. So the next one we have is the next shimmer. This is Roxy Catan. And then next we have Vla, which is a yellow. Oh, I like the I like the look of that yellow. Then the next one we have is Mikai and is this beautiful red oh I do like that and then the next one we have is Mila and Mila looks like that and then we have oh this one's really soft the shimmer really soft so this one's called Underground, and that is a very, very soft shimmer. That's beautiful. Colours like a 
a taupey, taupey colour. So that there, you can see very well, that is the first two rows. So the last two rows, the first colour is Plot Twist, which is this real pale blue, so we can, which actually looks really nice. The next one we have is called Aura, it's another really soft matte, uh, matte, another really soft shimmer. So that is Aura. The next shade we have is Basic Truth, which is very, very light brown, or a, well, creamy brown, with a transition shade or blending out shade. It's a blending out shade more than a transition. Uh, next we have, ooh, uh, this one's, uh, the shimmer's a little bit crumbly and soft. Um, this is All In. <gasps> Look, wow. That's got some uh, shifts in it. Wow, it's got like a pinky shift to it. That's really, really nice. And the next is the one that, of course, I'm excited about because it's green and it's called Ew. So hopefully it is not Ew. So that's the green there, Ew. Looking forward to trying that one. And, oh, this one's another really soft, crumbly shimmer and this is pride i've been very excited about this shade oh wow that's got kind of a blue shift in it that is really really pretty is that showing up on camera i don't know that's beautiful i've got very very colorful pajama bottoms yes i'm wearing pajama bottoms sorry the top half's okay though um, the next one we have is Zoma. Wow. Which I believe means summer. And that is quite a, a summery shade. Like a, a peachy colour. Nice. And next is another one I was really ex uh, excited about. This is Mama Tutorials. This is another a bit crumbly shimmer. But... Wow, that swatch is beautiful. Look at that colour. That's very, very pretty colour. Very pretty. And then we've got Amsterdam. I do love that name. Um, which is this deeper blue. Which doesn't swatch as nice, but swatches mean nothing. So that is Amsterdam. I've been so looking forward to saying that. I'm such a child. And then the last colour we've got is Mr. Tutorials. And that is this really, it's meant to be a hazel coloured shimmer. Very, very nice. That's a really nice colour. So yeah, there is the final two rows. There was a lot of kick up from those swatches, um, but I don't mind kick up as long as it goes on nice. So we shall see. The first colour I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go straight in with Amsterdam, the blue. Of course I am. I can't resist the blues and greens, I can't. Um, I will do more than one look with this. Um, this is just my first impressions. Um, so, yeah. so yeah, I'm just gonna, I have primed my with the NYX Proof It, 
So I'm just going to place this in the outer V. It's a nice colour. I think it does need some building up though to get the, the kind of colour you want. I'm only going to bring that a little bit onto my lid there, just at the edge. I'm tapping it off. I don't want any forelocks. I have done my base first, like an idiot. <laughs> I don't know why I did my base first, but I did, so. Yeah, it definitely does require some building up, but that is a stunning colour. I do really like that blue. So I'm just going to round that at the edge. I'm trying a different kind of shape today. I don't know whether I'm going to bring that into my crease. I might bring it in a little bit, just a little bit there. I'm just trying to blend it out a little bit. I'm going to go in with the lighter blue, the plot twist, to, to blend out anyway, but it does make it easier if you kind of fluff the edges a bit first. I just want to get that shape as well. Yeah, you have to be careful, it does go a little bit patchy if you don't just stamp it on first, this one. That might be the the primer it's on, but I found this really good for blending things out on so far, so I'm inclined to think it's the shadow. Hmm, it's not going on as nice on this side. Try stamping it on a bit more. Yeah, it doesn't definitely doesn't have the same blendability that the uh, the Beauty Bay uh, Brights palette has. So next, I'm gonna dip into ew this green, which uh, probably isn't much of a surprise uh, to any of you that know me. And this, I'm going to. Go from the blue and bring that into the inner part here. Again, I think that this requires a bit of building up as well. So just blend that into, into the blue there. And then I want to kind of bring that over the blue, I think. Use that to blend out the blue a bit. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've changed my mind about using that plot twist, and I think I'm just going to use this green to blend out the blue. I'm liking that a lot, actually. I will go back and uh, re intensify the blue. But yeah, I think this was definitely, definitely the way to go. Okay, so we're just going to re-intensify that blue a little bit. Maybe bring that a little bit more in here. Yeah, the blue is definitely not the easiest to work with. I might have to go back over that with the green again because that doesn't seem to, it's just going really patchy here. I don't know how well you can see. It's going really patchy there. Yeah, 
and left on the same this side too and then back in with the green just to blend the edges a little bit more That will do so far. Um, do I want to go onto the lower lash line first? No. Why do that? Um, so, hmm, have I changed my mind? I think, actually, I was going to just go with Pride, uh, this one here. I'm wondering whether or not to go with Mama Tutorials on the outer part of my lid and then Pride on the inner part. I think that's the way we're going to go. Before I go putting the shimmers on, I am going to stick a bit of glitter glue, which is the e.l.f. glitter glue, because I still haven't picked up the next one to try yet. And I'm just going to be placing this. Yeah. So just dipping into Mama Tutorials, the blue shimmer, I am going to place this on the outer part of my lid. That's a very pretty blue. I wish I had the ability of some people like um, Angelica Nikvist um, to describe colours, um, but I don't. So, it's a very pretty blue. Like a sky blue. That's beautiful. Oh, crikey, I'm making a mess. Hmm. Yes. There is a lot of kick up in the palette, a lot. Just to, uh, for any of you that don't like kick up, there's a lot. There's definitely fallout, uh, but that's been from the shimmers. So what I might do with the um, Pride one is spray before putting down and see if that helps. Yeah, so just wiping off the same brush. What I'm going to do with Pride, so that pinky shimmer, is pick some up on the brush and then give it a spray. So let's see what difference this makes with Fallout. A lovely colour. I think it looks really nice next to that blue. The shakes. I don't know why, is I had my first full night's sleep 
in uh, over two weeks, thanks to uh, the doctor's help. However, <laughs> uh, in the early hours of the morning, the pubs closed and I live by a pub. And so I was awoken by, Oi mate, think you're hard, do ya? Come on, come on. <sighs> Seriously? And then there's another voice, Yeah, you're hard, come on then. And it was just like, like tennis. Come on then, you're hard, come on then. And I just thought, oh, Seriously? Go home, go home. Because it was just like a battle of who could shout, Yeah, come on then, the loudest. Um, so yeah, after after a while of uh, shouting, yeah, come on then, back and forth, they uh, eventually went on their way to wherever they went on their way to, and I managed to get back to sleep. But yeah, I was like, seriously, I was woken up for this, to uh, listen to lads, you know, the whole puffing out of the chest kind of thing. Yes, I'm so hard. Really? You've got to try and prove your manliness in that way? Really? So yeah, uh, that was kind of my night. But other than that, it slept pretty well. I'm just going to tap that off, go back in with just a little bit of the blue, just to... Uh, and blend in the blue and the pink. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. I really, really like that. Okay, I'm going to dip back into that dark blue just to. Uh, bring back a bit of uh, definition in the outer outer edge here and just bring that gently over the edge there I'm just going to take a smaller brush just to uh, bring the blue in a little bit here I'm just keeping that quite close to the lash line. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take the brush that I did the green on just to lap that out. There's glitter particles everywhere. That's one thing I will say, the, uh, the shimmers are actually, uh, they've got fine glitter particles in, lots of them, which is great because it makes them really shiny, but I now have them everywhere, absolutely everywhere. I want to bring that pink down a bit, maybe put a bit of that blue, so I think what I'm going to do is pop a bit of glitter glue there first just because uh, I don't think it's going to hold without it so let's put glitter glue around here I'm just going to get a bit of the pink and just paste that on the inner part there and then take a little bit of the blue the mama tutorials and put that there yeah I like that I am liking that a lot and then I'm going to go in with this ivy this one here I'm going to use that one for my inner corner and brow bone highlight see what she does okay okay she's 
quite chunky. This one's quite a chunky formula. I'm not sure, but I'm loving this uh, formula here. I'm quite chunky on my inner corner there. So let's see what it's like on the brow bone. Okay. It works better on the brow bone. Definitely works better on the brow bone. That's not the easiest shimmer that I've worked with. yeah that uh, is the look for now so I'm gonna head off camera um, stick the rest of my makeup on and then I will come back with you to show you the final look and also to discuss my first impressions of the Beauty Bay and Nikki tutorials collab so don't go anywhere because I will be right back okay so here is the final look what do you think I'm actually really happy with it. I feel a little bit like a peacock, but I love peacocks. Um, yeah, I really, really love the look. Um, so before we talk about the palette, I'll just let you know what else I've put on my face. So I've used the blush from the I Heart Revolution Marshmallow palette. I used uh, marshmallows and highlighter. I went in with the Makeup by Lisa highlighter in the shade Pearl. The eyeliners I used were the liquid eyeliner was the one by e.l.f. The, in my waterline I used the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Purple Rain. Um, lashes, I used the mascara, the Barry M, that's how I roll. Um, lashes did I use? Uh, the Eyelure London Jordan Woods Faux Mink Palm Princess. So that's the lashes and finally on my lips I use the melt bullet lipstick in the shade Mota or Mota however you say that I've been dying to wear this lipstick and I think this look is perfect for it so on to the palette so first impressions I love the packaging I love this um, and on this here I don't know if you can see it says makeup shamers um, I love it. So yeah, that's the the outer packaging. The colour story itself, it, it does. It's very messy. It's a, a very messy to use palette. But first impressions. Um, this blue, the Amsterdam, that one is um pretty hard to work with. Um, the green was was better. Um, but that, that blue is really, really hard to work with. Um, but I do love the colour pale for once you've built it up. Um, it doesn't blend out very easily. Um, I did need to use the green to blend it out. Um, what's that? These two. Um, they definitely need a sticky base um, and or spraying the brush. Um, definitely. Um, they're quite crumbly it's quite a, a crumbly shimmer formula um, the ivy is very chunky I found that one really difficult to use for my inner corner it was okay on the brow bone um, so I definitely have to try that on my lid and see how that comes out but I did find that pretty chunky um, overall though I'm really happy with the look definitely need to play with this some more um, at the moment I'm undecided as to uh, exactly how I feel about it. Very, very happy to have it. Love Nikki tutorials. Um, but it wasn't quite what I expected formula-wise after trying the uh, Beauty Bay 16 colour um, bright palette. So yeah, definitely gonna have to play with this a lot more to uh, to actually gain a final, my final thoughts. Um, but yeah, I'm not, not quite sure at the moment not quite sure but I do love the final look very very happy with the final look so yeah definitely gonna have to play with that some more um, before I actually 
work out how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, like I said, really, really happy to have it. So on that note, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you have, please uh, like this, give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So thank you again. It's been uh, wonderful. As always, I have had a great time. So I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.